you guys are going to be crazy to miss out on even one second of this video. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly why I am maintaining my bullish position on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency because right here, right now, we are seeing confirmation signs where we're ticking off the boxes and essentially getting ready to prepare for a next move. Is it to the upside or will it be to the downside? Let's find out in this video. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara Rukas. Thank you for being here with me today. I truly appreciate every single one of my beautiful subscribers. You guys are doing incredible. I truly am absolutely loving you guys and your benevolent energy. Really appreciate you guys very, very much. So you guys are just absolutely beautiful. So for that, I give you guys a thumbs up for every single video that you guys are here with me. So I see my views have been going down a little bit over the past few days. Um, talk to me a little bit, guys. Tell me a little bit more about what it is that you're looking for from me on the channel. Let me know down in the comments below. I do have some incredible stuff lined up for you. Make sure you guys are here with me tonight on my live show at 7 p.m. Hit the notification bell. That will be this one right here. Then we will decide and discuss what else is going on in the market and we will have a little bit of fun. Uh, hopefully one of these days I'm going to be able to invite one of my collaborators onto the channel. So make sure to stay tuned and uh, hit the notification bell so that you guys can see when that comes out. Now guys, if you didn't watch my Tao um, video yesterday, you need to go and watch it. It's quite an important video for you guys. So hopefully you go and see the most magical, magical signs that you possibly could. All right. Anyways, guys, let's delve right into the charts today. Uh, what's going on in the space today? We're seeing a little bit of a pullback in some of the cryptos, including Tau. And, um, you know, we're seeing some just kind of blood on the streets. But yet again, Pulse, Pulse X, Hex are all pumping once again. The, that's on the Morales money bubbles, on the banter bubbles. You guys can see here. Um, you guys can see that this is quite a lot of green that is pumping out here today, but there is some red in there as well. So beautiful projects. The fear and greed index is now sitting at 55. We're back in the fear zone of things. So that's very, very interesting. Um, sure, guys, there is a lot to share with you. So don't miss out on anything because I've got some pretty cool stuff I'm going to share with you. Starting off with... And I, you know, this time I'm not going to put it right at the end. This time I'm going to put it right here. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this, because what I'm about to show you is absolutely incredible. And if you think BlackRock and Fidelity are big, well, what do you think Schwab is going to do to our market? This is from Invest Answers. Shout out to him. Schwab is, the, is two times the size of Fidelity. And FBC, uh, FBTC, or Fidelity's um, Spot Bitcoin ETF, just swallowed 52,000 Bitcoin in 11 days. Ha! 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 Big breaking, okay? $8.5 trillion asset manager Charles Schwab is reportedly preparing to enter the Spot ETF market. Guys, this is literally just the beginning. The doors were just opened to the market. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to be like stampedes of people coming in. Um, if they've already accumulated 52,000 Bitcoin, what do you think Schwab is going to do? What do you think BlackRock are going to carry on doing, guys? Don't miss out on the space because BlackRock and Fidelity ETFs are now officially in the top seven ETFs for assets out of 600 plus ETFs that were launched in 2023. IBIT is on track to be number one by the next week. Just by the way, just want to share that with you guys because BlackRock is, of course, the biggest um, asset management company on the planet. And uh, so they should be heading towards number one pretty soon, wouldn't you say so? Guys, if you think we're going anywhere, well, I'd like you to just very much have a look at what is going on because you can see that, uh, and shout out to Sir uh, Chatayansi, the projection of the current bull market rhymes perfectly with past cycles. Of note, during all past cycles, there was a major dip prior to the halving event. 
I expect at least a one and a half years of bull market from here now. Guys, I agree with him. We'll see the rest of this year. We'll probably see most of next year. So um, that's going to be very, very cool. And I just have to say to you guys that you can see here, there was the peak, there was the halving, there was a dip. Then we made the pump. We broke. It took us a year, a year to get up, pump up to the halving with a pullback, kind of at a halving. Then we made a pump up to the all -time, previous all-time high. Then we capitulated, pulled back, because it's obviously resistance. Um, and then we made a new all-time high, punched through the old all-time high, made a new all-time high. Then we had a capitulation, uh, a pump up to the halving. We had the black swan event, but this would have all been capitulation. Uh, and then the halving point, a pump up, and then sideways before a pump up. So you can see this pump up here wasn't that big, right? I keep telling you guys that we're going to have very likely a combination of 2017 and 2013 pump, okay? And this was just one of the peaks. There was still another section like this down here, just to give you some heads up. Uh, you guys can't really see that, but I'm saying to you guys, this is gonna be very cool. I think we're gonna see some major, major, major moves up here. Honestly, I think we'll see much higher than 300,000, um, but 300,000 is my target, guys. I have been talking about that. I'm gonna be modest, because um, that's just what it is. So, guys, I hope you're enjoying my content so far. And if you are, please, you know how to push the algorithm for the channel. Another thing here, shout out to Mickey Bull Crypto. Perfect, but uh, Bitcoin perfectly aligns with the previous price action, which indicates that we are in a bull cycle. The new all-time high in August or October 2024. I previously mentioned this when I was showing you guys my... Um, my Bitcoin chart here. We'll come back to that in a moment and we'll have a little bit of a discussion about that. But going back to the uh, Mickey Bulls crypto chart, boom, pump up, same thing, sideways, pump up, some halving, pump up, boom. Are we going to do the same thing, kind of meet the rainbow level at like 300 to 500,000? It's a very, very, very high possibility. Okay. So once again, another one, from Mickey Bull Crypto, Bitcoin is still bound within the range and may consolidate for weeks before indicating its intent. The weekly candle closed with a reversal candle formation hammer. The overall trend still remains bullish. Now guys, if you're watching my channel and my videos, you guys saw that on this video, I was talking about that hammer candle and I was telling you guys, that if we close like that, that is going to be extremely bullish. And look at what we did here. We closed in the hammer candle right above the zone that I was talking about, plus engulfing the previous candle's volume. What do you think we're going to do, guys? All right. So you can see here, stuck within the range. Tuk, 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 tuk. I agree. We're going to probably sit and chill in here for a moment. Uh, before we get the next absolute massive explosive move out. Now, Stock Money Lizard, shout out to you, bro. Oft expectation fails, and most oft there where most it promises, and oft if oft it hits where hope is coldest and despair most fits. William Shakespeare about the past and the future, Bitcoin sell-offs during bull markets. So 2016, boom, smash through, pre-halving FOMO peak, Boom, straight back down to support. Then a slow grind up. Now, guys, generally we should know that the bull walks up the stairs and the bear falls out the window. Super simple analogy in trading, okay? So in other words, the market climbs slowly but drops heavily, okay? So we've already done that. This was the ETF from our peak. We came back down to some support. We've pulled back up. Are we going to capitulate before we make our next crazy moves? right through the ceiling and up towards the godlike candle that we're talking about. Yes, I do believe so. Well, the same thing here, and shout out to Mags or the Sculpting Pro. The old coin market cap is also ready to explode. Ignore the short-term volatility because dips are for buying. I completely agree here. And as you guys can see here, there is the 2017 all-time high, 21, or well, there's the 21 all-time high essentially, but that's the first peak. Um, we are here, boom, we are here, boom. Okay, 
we're going to see massive, massive, massive runs up here in the crypto space very, very soon. There's no doubt about it, guys. Now, here is a parabola chart that Sculpting Pro, once again, is talking about. Look at where we get to. We get to like a 450000 maybe $500,000 Bitcoin in the cycle. Okay, guys. And that ends up being parabola, the same thing here, the same thing here, and the same thing here. Now, I've previously been saying that it would be a combination of 2017 and 2013. There was the first round of capitulation and the next round. We also had the same thing here. We had the first round of capitulation and then the second round, which didn't quite get where it needed to go. Um, so I believe we're kind of sitting in that same space right now. We will eventually make this crazy run after the Bitcoin halving. So, guys, be prepared. Be prepared. If you have not prepared yourself, well, use my Bybit link down below. You guys can get up to $30,000 deposit bonus. Um, I will leave it pinned in the comments for you below, as well as at the top of my description. Then you can get your Bitflex account as well, and you guys can then come and trade with me there. And you guys, when you deposit $100 on your Bitflex exchange, you will get $10 right there right now do not miss out on that opportunity go sign up use that link down below let's do this you beautiful souls all right drawing back to the chart currently you can see um you know we've had a 22 percent pullback there a 20 percent 21 percent and a 21.5 percent at the moment so bitcoin is facing resistance at mid-range boom 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 mid-range okay the price has dipped by 21.5% so far from its local high of 48,900. This marks the fourth pullback between 20 and 22% since the bottom at 15,500. Boom, boom, boom. That is amazing. That tells us that we literally have beautifully clean charts that are showing us where we're going. Now, guys, this is something that you need to know because Part four, the Bitcoin flow per ETF and net gain is here. FBT, FBTC is 52,000. They're now bigger than um, IBIT, which is BlackRock. This is Fidelity's, okay? Fidelity owned 2,400 more Bitcoin than what BlackRock does now at the moment. So the race is on, guys. The race is on. Then you have BitB, ArcB, uh, Bitco, Valkyrie, EasyBC, HODL. Uh, BTCW, GBTC, which are down 126,000. I don't know why they would sell, um, but uh, mostly this was people exiting because of the price of it and then entering these. So I guess the two runners and leaders are miles ahead by 3x from BitB, but the you know those two are like 3x from the rest of them. So they're miles ahead. They're in a good start. The net gain is 100, uh, sorry, 18,570 Bitcoin that have been bought up, guys. Don't miss out on this because if you're looking at some of the news, Bitcoin could form a bullish reversal pattern after BTC's recapture of 40,500, according to a crypto analyst. Um, uh, and his name is Ched. So he was talking about a little bit of recapturing this area here. You can see that this is the four hour. So right now we're actually at about 41,000 something um, today. I didn't even show you guys that, but we're about 41,600 today on the chart. Yeah, uh, 42,300 already. So you guys can see that we're up in market cap at 1.7 trillion trading volume about 45 billion. So not much has changed, but you can see here that we've had a strong breakout we test resistance, pull back, boom, we smash through the next level, guys. It is incoming, whether you like it or not. And as you guys can see here on my charts, look at how beautiful that buying strength is on that candle with the volume starting to pick up once again after having our pullbacks. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Do you think it's time to continue up or do we sit here for a moment longer and then continue the rally? We need to build up a surge of energy to get us above the, the 45,000 to 50,000 level. Actually, the 50,000 level, because this is where that resistance uh, happened, all the way up here at that 48,900 and um, 49,140. 
That's where it happened, guys. That's where the resistance level was. Now, as you can see here, the total three market cap has also got lots of buy volume coming back into it. You can see how the candles uh, ended up really sucking back up over here. And it's done the same. So the wicking, nobody wants to sell their, their cryptocurrencies right now. Why is that? Well, you know, if you guys subscribe and you guys come and check out my live video later on today, I'm going to tell you exactly what my plan is to take the maximum amount of profits. And will it be dollars? We'll have to find out. So make sure to come and check out my video, my live session tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, and then we will discuss it over there. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed the most incredible uh, session today. As you guys see here, please note that literally every single time, once it got past the halving, just have a very, very good clean look at this one more time, okay? Halving, pullback. Previous all-time high, one year to pump. Obviously, resistance at the level. Okay, so take some profits there at the all-time high. Take some profits. Re-enter in back here. Super simple, guys. Take some profits. Get out. Re-enter. Let the market go for its crazy rally. Guess what? The same thing happened here at our next point. Okay, it's going to have a look. If you guys recall me doing this chart for you. So previous all-time high halving. Even though it was a black swan event, it pulled down. Okay, and capitulated at the halving point. Then we had the one year rally where we had some resistance. Then we broke through it and smashed through the all time height. Guys, the same thing is about to unfold here. We literally could have a pullback down here at the very least to the 36,000 level. I would say that would be a decent area, but it doesn't mean that it's going to pull back. Okay, we could literally just hover on this. 42, 43, 44,000 line for a few weeks up until the halving. And then we could then from that point, it would take us about 284 days. So nearly one year to get up here to this level where we would break out at this point. And then it would take us about 300 days odd um, to get us above and break through that all time high. Now, guys. We generally see the price break above the top here, other than this previous cycle, just kind of straggled under the top. So even if we just got to the top here, that's a $250,000 Bitcoin, okay? Just shy of my $285,000 to $300,000 Bitcoin. So guys, I don't think you want to miss out because right now Bitcoin is sitting at 42000 You could 5 to 10x your money with just Bitcoin. And it is literally the safest asset in the space. Guys, here is my Bitcoin trade. It is currently still sitting at 56% up. And as you guys can see, there was the entry. You know, we could hover around here. I'm okay for it to hover around. I'm just going to continue to add to my position and wait for it to slowly grind up like a bull walking up the stairs. When I see it hits the resistance level, I'll take some profits. Very simple. So hope you guys have enjoyed that. Here is my, um, I only have an XRP trade, might be down ever so slightly. No, it's up 23%, which is great. So my trade is up 23% and we're getting ready. I have a take profit on it up here at 60 cents. So let's go and see. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Thank you for being here with me today. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Love you all. See you on the next one. See you on the live show later. Okay.